Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Job Caleb. I hope this message meets you in the peace of Jesus. Uh, welcome to the new subscribers. I see you coming in. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe if you have not done that already. Let me start this with a word of prayer. Lord, I thank you. I glorify your name, Jesus. Uh, I thank you for provision. I thank you for all the blessings in my life. I thank you for lifting me from the ash heap to set me among princes to inherit the throne of glory, Lord, like you do. Lord, I pray that... Uh, I thank you that you hear me and that you always hear my prayer and that so these people know that you sent me. I, I pray that your word would go right through me and they would understand exactly what you are saying to them, Lord. I pray angelic protection and the blood of Jesus over all sins of anybody watching this video. In Jesus' name, Maranatha. Amen. <clears throat> okay, I want to start by saying there's somebody who needs prayer and uh, I got a word from the Lord that we can... All we have to do is pray for the little girl on the bus. And uh, that's close enough to, well, I mean, he knows everything. So, But please pray for the little girl on the bus. I was, uh, I left church. The Lord said, catch a bus. So I walked to the bus stop. Uh, somebody offered me a ride, but the Lord said, catch a bus. So that's what I did. Uh, there was a little girl on the bus who looked like she had been abused for a long time. She was like three or four years old. It was terrible. Absolutely terrible. I, I could just tell that she was full of demons. It was awful and, and then her mother i uh the lord speaks to me all the time and he told me basically what was happening and yes she had been abused and i don't want to get too uh specific about it but it was terrible so uh he told me uh so i said judgment because i was praying for her on the bus i said judgment she, he said yes he wanted me to uh, be an instrument of his judgment and warn her so i warned the mother that she is under the judgment of god i said pardon me miss um uh, the true and living God says you are under judgment. Take it to him in prayer. And she acted like she didn't understand what I said. But I'm pretty sure she figured out a couple minutes later and she's scared stiff, which she should be. So please pray for the little girl on the bus. Uh, I'm praying that she will. I, I decree, actually, I prophesy she's going to get saved. She's going to use her experience as a child to help others. Uh, she's going to lead many people into the kingdom. So please, please pray for the little girl on the bus. <clears throat> Thank you for that. Okay, firstly, uh, <clears throat> there is a finite number of particles in the universe, in case anybody was wondering about that. <laughs> the Lord says there is a finite... Well, I said it, and he said yes. So uh, there's a finite number of particles in the universe. Okay, the Lord says one month. One month. <clears throat> I hope it doesn't mean one month with no sleep, but we'll see. <clears throat> uh, the Lord says secret. I want to add, I haven't slept really, I don't know, very much at all in, in like 10 days or something. So, like, uh, but I actually, I mean, he feel, I feel pretty good. He sustains me. So the Lord is our sustainer. <clears throat> and he's merciful, so he's going to let me sleep eventually. I'm hoping today. Okay. The Lord says, secret. <clears throat> secret. <clears throat> uh, the Lord says, the girl. The girl. The Lord says, what's your name? I think maybe I already went over this part, but that's okay. If I'm doing it, that's what I'm supposed to do. What's your name? Okay, um, the Lord says, last year, pick this up. Last year, pick this up. The Lord says, turn to the left. Turn to the left. <laughs> that's going to blow somebody's mind. <laughs> the Lord says, shovel. <clears throat> shovel. The Lord says, do Hebrew, do Hebrew. Uh, the Lord says, how far? How far? Uh, the Lord says, are you sure that's not right? And then there are two little left-facing arrows. And then nextly, uh, it says, RH3E, just go ob ta r u t b s b d u d. So... Uh, I just want to show that to you because I can't really read it, but he changes my notes sometimes, so I'm just going to tell you what's in there. and It might mean something to somebody. We can't be tampering with it. <clears throat> okay, uh, I had a, a thought that kind of that kind of blew my mind. The Lord knows everything, but at the same time, he knows what it's like not to know anything. So he knows like what it's like to be an ant, right? But he also knows what it's like to know everything. So figure that one out. Chew on that for a minute. <laughs> Okay, the Lord says, keep awake. He's been keeping me awake. I've been reading the Bible all night for a long time. 
<clears throat> but he's merciful. He's going to let me sleep. Uh, he's sustaining me. I was getting really tired at church, and I felt it. I felt it when he started sustaining me, and I feel pretty pretty fine right now. So, still hoping to sleep sometime. I, I really think, I mean, I used to sleep 8 to 10 hours a night. I think 4 to 6 hours would be plenty. Plenty. So, I think he's changing my entire sleep schedule, which, which is fine. I, I submit, Lord. Okay, the Lord says, you'll have a, oh, uh, no. He says, you'll be, you'll, the letter B, be around. You'll, the letter B, be around. The Lord says, you'll have a double portion. I think maybe this, for me, this could mean uh, I was in a lawsuit with a, with a company that actually they, they tried to kill me uh, because I got hurt uh, at work. And then my attorney behind my back settled the case. Uh, the Lord told me he took a $2,000 bribe from the company. He settled the case. He forged my name on the check. And he deposited that $2,000 into his bank account. The Lord says he's going to have to pay for that. So I will be warning him. I wrote a letter to his boss today. I'm uh, pretty sure he's at least going to get fired, maybe get disbarred. Uh, you know, I told the guy I'm a prophet. Uh, and I, I just don't, I, some people, some people are just amazingly stupid. Like very, very stupid. So yeah, he's going to have to pay for that. It's going to be a lot. Anyway, so I'm thinking maybe they'll give me a double portion because of what he did to me, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, the Lord says talks about 61. Uh, 61, according to Bible Numbers for Life, is uh, the King of Jews, Messiah. We all know who that is, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy One of God. Praise you, Lord. Maranatha. Okay, the Lord says he's right at my right hand. He's right at my right hand. <clears throat> and he is, uh, if this is talking about the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I like to, to say that when I saw, when I was, I think, pulled out of my body and brought in front of the throne of God, I saw, it was like an emerald, just like it says in the book of Revelation, and at the right hand of the throne, there was a face, and the face lit up. It looked like lightning and hot silver metal at the same time, just brighter than you could ever imagine. It came out of the throne and right in front of me like that, and then three scrolls flew out of my heart into the throne. Uh, the, 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 the head of the one who sat on the throne was not like a, a, a person's head. It was, it went out in all directions. Uh, it was nuts. It was nuts. So yeah, he sat down in the right hand. That's, I've seen it. So, uh, the Lord says, go through them, go through them. The Lord says, I thought that was Mrs. Q. I thought that was Mrs. Q. The Lord says, I want you to hear me. Uh, the next two things I believe he added. I don't think I put this in my phone. I think he did that. He put here for, H-E-A-R, the, the number four. And then it said mercy. It was spelled wrong. It was. I think it. there was a, a, a spelling. And I asked him, I said, Lord, I said, if you're going to put mercy in my phone, you could at least spell it right, right? So I looked at it again, and now it's spelled wrong but differently. It's M-E-R-S-E-L, Mercil. But he said, mercy will be tonight. So the next line down is, it will be tonight. I've been asking him for mercy because I haven't hardly slept at all in like 10 days. So uh, I've been reading all night long. Last night I couldn't even read anymore. I had to just listen to it and walk back and forth. Okay, so uh, yeah, Mercil. Whatever that means. Uh, but he says, the Lord says, will be tonight. So, and that's tonight, the, the night I'm making this video. So, it sounds like he's going to let me sleep. Thank God. Okay, uh, the Lord says, Sylvia's husband. Sylvia's husband. The Lord says, pound it on your door. Pound it on your door. The Lord says, you did it again. You did it again. I don't remember this. The lion and there, but there is spelled T-H-E-R. The lion and there, T-H-E-R. I mean, it, it, he's just he's just amazing. I just I don't want to change anything. Uh, the Lord says a week and a half, a week and a half. 
The Lord says, yeah, she's nice. Yeah, she's nice. The Lord says, series of standards. Standards. <clears throat> the Lord says, but I do. But I do. Okay, and the next thing, uh, I believe, was something else that he added. Uh, and it's right at the top. WXX, well, W multiplication sign, multiplication sign, addition sign. I don't know if that means anybody, anything to anybody. It could. You never know. It probably does. Okay, and then next, the Lord says eighth. Eighth. So, uh, according to Bible Numbers for Life, eight is... If I can find it here, it goes 5, 7, 10, 4. New man, believer. New man or believer. Um, and then the Lord says 6. I know that 6 is man. Yes, man or flesh. <clears throat> uh, the Lord told me last night, I was, I was trying to pray. I was... Uh, extremely tired and I couldn't really think but I was still trying to pray oh and uh, yeah the Hebrew 4 is oh no that, I'm sorry I got confused anyways last night I was uh, I was trying to pray I was I, mean, I haven't slept really in like 10 days so I was, I was pretty tired <clears throat> but uh, so he said it'll make it better won't it and that's what he's doing now you know I've been not sleeping I've been reading the Bible all night long and then running 8 miles every day so uh I can feel it making me stronger, but I, I hope to get some sleep sometime soon. Okay, so he said, it'll make you better, won't it? But then it says W6. <clears throat> W6. The Lord says, how'd it feel? The Lord, the Lord says, first watch it. First watch it. The letter L. Capital L. And he just said yes. Hurry up. Uh, the Lord says information. Information. The, the Lord says Ethiopia. By the way, Ethiopian food is delicious. <clears throat> uh, the Lord says Hebron. <clears throat> and that is uh, uh, the land that Caleb inherited uh, when he was 80, 85 or something years old. So he said, he said Hebron. And then he said the risk's dead. The risk's dead. The Lord says, touched by a Bible. I am uh, putting together what I think will be the most important uh, Bible in the world right now. Uh, and I'm going to pass it on to my daughter. She doesn't even know I exist yet. But, you know, uh, I have a very close relationship with the Lord. And he has told me about her. And I'm looking forward to being able to meet her and to sweep her off her feet and give her everything she needs. Well, everything will come from the Lord. But I will be a conduit for everything she needs. And uh, I hope she'll be happy. Because <clears throat> I am to anoint her to carry on after I am done. When I move on. When I step into eternal life. It's very exciting. <clears throat> okay. Um, the Lord says, it's a mountain. The land. You know, my, my last name is Caleb. So there are... <clears throat> Uh, there are commonalities between his life and, and, and my life, what he's doing in my life. So he gives me a little bit so I can try to figure it out. I, I tell you, I hope I'm not 85 when I get a place. I hope I get it sooner than that. <clears throat> Maybe I'll get a mountain when I'm 85 and I'll pass it down to my kids. I don't know. We'll see. Something's going to happen. Something's, I, I think I'll have a place within the next month and a half. I, I don't know what's going to happen, but and I don't think I'm going to have to pay a dime for it. Thank you, Lord. Uh, yeah, it's a mountain, the land. He was talking about Hebron. So something I wanted to share is uh, I'm really coming into my 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 office. Uh, I am. Uh, I, I believe I'm very good at. It. I'm going to be very good at being a prophet. Uh, I'm I'm quite zealous, and uh, I I really do a lot, and it's it's great to be able to work for the Lord and to know that He trusts me to work for Him, and that's why I do it because I love Him because He's awesome. All right, uh, Adam and Eve are in heaven. So if, if anybody was ever wondering about that, Adam and Eve are in heaven. The Ark of the Covenant covenant is in Ethiopia. 
the Great Pyramid is the Pillar of Enoch. And pray for the little girl on the bus. So yes, please pray for the little girl on the bus. Um, I thank you all. I love you so much. Please uh, pray for me. And your prayers mean a lot to me. They really do. It's, it's invaluable. So uh, I, I leave you all in the peace of Jesus where I hopefully found you. And uh, I'll be back soon with another message from the future.